And now let me welcome on to another edition of Courting Cinderella here on the Field of 68 Media Network, Southeastern Louisiana head coach David Kiefer. Coach, uh, we're breaking down Texas A&M Corpus Christi today. We're giving a scouting report for everybody watching this. Let's start with this. They've won back-to-back Southland tournament uh, championships, back-to-back automatic bids. What makes this team so good? What are they best at? Their toughness and togetherness. I mean, I I really think they're um, a really well coached team. Um, you got to give Steve Lutz credit. You know, coming from, from his pedigree, coming from Purdue and Stephen F. Boss, the guy knows how to win. Their teams are always prepared. They're always sharp. Um, they share the basketball. They're defensively. Um, they really get underneath you. They make everything really tough. Um, it's just a really well connected team. And you talk about in the transfer portal era, having everybody back from last year's team. Um, I think they had like 11 returners from last year's championship run team. Um, it's not necessarily the talent that overwhelms you, not taking any knocks. It's just all of them together. Um, it's it's They have a special group. It's a tough, tight-knit group. Who are the players that people need to know about? Who are the biggest names? Who are the stars? Well, in the championship game and, and you know, right when it happened, the, their best player, in my opinion, uh, Murdoch's, Terry ter- ter- and Murdoch's, it looked like had a significant knee injury in the first two minutes of the game. Um, they got down early to Northwestern State and kind of rat- uh, rallied back, tied it up at half. We go down to the wire and win. But Terry Murdix, I don't know if he's going to play in the NCAA tournament or whatnot, but he was defensive player of the year in our conference. Um, he was one of their leading scorers. Just tough, tough city-type guard. Um, just knows how to score. Constantly talking, working the other team, working the officials, working the coaches, just just a competitive guy that, you know, you wish you had in your team. Um, Past that, you know, Jalen Jackson, another combo guard that played, uh, got the MVP of the tournament, just a a tough, gritty guard that, like, kind of sets the tone for them offensively, pushes the pace, picks up guards, uh, really tough. But they got a a shot maker that I think is a really difference maker uh, on their team, especially when you're talking about uh, one game, you know, win or go home. Um, um, his, his, his name's uh, uh, Tennyson. Tennyson is just a make Trevor shot. Tennyson. Trevor yeah. Tennyson. One of the best yeah. names in college basketball. Yes, yes. Make shots, man. Tough shots. Like, he, he's one of those. You're, you're never out of it. Um, you know, you can never be comfortable because he just, he can, you know, make seven or eight in a row and, and, and he can really change the game. Obviously, Isaac Mushila, back-to-back conference, all-conference player, puts up really significant numbers, really tough nose, like a six-five center, just, you know, your prototypical, like, low-major, tough-nosed rebounder, you know, um, gets underneath guys, gets you aggravated. Um, and then they got guys that come off the bench that could just know their role. Um, you know, it's it's a it's a, a scary team. Now, again, I don't know if, if Murdoch's plays, it's a lot different. I think that's that's their, their heartbeat, but you know, they, 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 they are a good team. And, and a lot of that goes to uh, the credit coach. Hey guys, just a reminder, our sponsor for today's episode is run your pool. They are hosting the field of 68 bracket challenge this year. They are giving away $1,500 in free prizes. It's all an incentive for you to get on there and find out just how good their platform is. I've been using them for my bracket pools for years. I've used them for super bowl squares. I use them for everything that I need to use them for the biggest survivor pool that I'm in for both NFL and NCAA tournament. It's by Run Your Pool. So go check them out. The link's below. Tap in. So we're always looking for the next St. Peter's. We're always looking for the next UMBC. What is it about this group that you think allows them to maybe pull off an upset, pull off a win over a one or a two or a three seed? You know, I think it's kind of an old cliche, defense and rebounding. But, you know, they've done that the past two years. They're going to defend and rebound the entire game. You know, and Stephen F. Stephen F. Austin comes to mind. Um, a couple years back, obviously, they went on a crazy run uh, when I was an assistant here at Southeastern and and Corpus didn't have that type of run, but they win the same type of way. You know, they're going to really make things hard to just pass, enter the ball, take you out of your offense, pick up full court, make you work, not just you don't have to bend your back as a point guard coming up the floor every time. You're not going to just, you know, lollygag up the floor. They're going to make you work every single time offensively and um that that always keeps you in ball games, and then you got guys that the ultimate equalizer that three point line. You got Tennyson running around making shots and makes things difficult. All right, well, listen, coach. Last thing I got for you: where, where if there's a weakness with this group, what is it? If there's something that you think uh, maybe when they get against a team that is a little bit bigger, a little bit more athletic, one of those high major programs, what is what is something to look out for? 
I think that's you just said it, you know, size and athleticism. You know, <laughs> you're talking about going against like Alabama or Purdue or something like that. You know, I, I, I have a tremendous respect for Corpus and their size and their bigs that they have. But, you know, 6'5 and 6'7 is a lot different than, you know, ED and some of the guys that are going to be playing in, in that first round. So it just ultimately is just size and athleticism. You know, I think their guards, especially if Murdix plays, I think they can compete at, you know, at, at, at a lot of different levels. And I think those guys will be fine. I think at the end of the day, just the size and rebounding, and getting to the free throw line, you know, is going to be the, the biggest challenge to overcome. Well, listen, Coach, I appreciate your time. This has been another edition of Courting Cinderella.